Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a Saturday vloggy thing. If you're new here, welcome in. I promise I don't bite much. Uh, <laughs> if you've been here before, welcome back. I would really love it if you could leave me a like and maybe a comment down to after the end of the video. You know, what you thought? Any questions? Any comments? We'll talk about the hat in a minute. Yes, it's new. Anyhow, I usually do this Saturday vloggy thing. I give a little update of what's been happening throughout the week of life, you know, the life and stuff part. Talk about crochet things. Uh, there's usually a little slideshow at the end these days. Talking about, not talking about, actually just showing my plants. Sometimes a little kitty picture or video snuck in there for fun because Oscar is the very teeny kitty. Yeah. Okay. Jumping into the life and stuff. Um... I'm wearing something sleeveless today. The spots are calming down. I had a dermatologist appointment actually yesterday and she told me that I should for at least a while switch to unscented detergents and special sensitive skin soaps and she gave me two different creams like a hydrocortisone cream for the stuff that's happening on my face uh, which is still there. Let's take a little good look at that. But after one day of using this stuff, it has calmed down a little bit. So I'm happy for that. Use it for a week, off for a week, you, you know, till it goes away. And similar but a different ointment, and it's actually an ointment and not a cream, for the stuff on my shoulders and just body is for the, for the cream, for the ointment. And the hydrocortisone stuff is for my face. I'll try anything. And my hands actually looking better after the past couple of days of not working. I think that's a big thing, is not working. Hello. But other non-health stuff, well maybe health, mental health stuff, that I've been doing, told you a while back during a haul video that I bought these books. They were a two, for, a two set, the red one and the blue one. Um, mind puzzles, mind works, brain training. I got the hubby a set, I got a set, and my friend Sean and Sue up in South Carolina got a set for each of them. They're $5 for the set. So it's no big purchase or anything. We decided last night to sit down and try one. Erin McGird. You can tell I don't use my math brain anymore. Uh, I started off with one of the math ones. And this is, you know, four minutes. or No, screw the time limits. This is about trying to dust off some cobwebs back there. Because it's been a long time since I've worked any puzzles like these. So we each worked one. We thought we had it most of the way through and then we couldn't solve the end. It's because we had a couple of things in the wrong place. It was a mind deduction kind of thing. And in the right brain one, the hubby just zipped right through it because he is very good with that sort of spatial stuff. I missed one, but it's all good. We had fun working and basically work them at the same time, talk about them, and then look at the answers to see if we missed anything. It's just a fun activity to, get, to do together for us because we're kind of brainy, nerdy people. Not the whole book at once one out of each book and then put it down little little friendly competition the hubby says he's not competitive at all but let me tell you he was working hard to try to get those puzzles done before i did so there you go but anyway it's fun and if you see these and these were at five below by the way if you see them you'll see them back to back like this in a plastic doohickey um pick them up just try them you know exercise the old synapses in there and see what happens. Something else, I did get some a happy mail. Whoop, whoop. I won a uh, Garden State Gardener, of course, does giveaways on his, and I hope I didn't lose. Oh dear. I have managed to drop <laughs> the thing that I won out of the paper, but that's okay. It's, it's either in here or it's in the living room. Uh, congratulations from the Garden State Gardener. That's what you will get when you get something from Joe. And this was the envelope. And what it was, was a pack of seeds. Ah, oh, there it is. Let me pause this. Yeah, do this a lot. And I dropped it. It went right in front of me. Um, I won a pack of Manzano Orange Pepper Seeds. Yes, the seeds are black, and that's what they're supposed to be. These actually came from JB Pickles, and I'll have his link down below where you can order them yourself. These take a while to germinate. Um, I now have several packages of these. At least one pack will be going out as part of a giveaway for my birthday week. Coming up. It's coming up. I'm getting older. Coming up. 
The other Happy Mail thing that I got was something that I ordered from my favorite Pure Romance uh, person, party runner, Ashley from Stitch It Ain't Easy. I'll have her link too. I ordered the Moisturizing Repair Balm, which is very much like another cream that was recommended to me, actually. But I ordered this before I knew that. And uh, this is no gluten, no parabens, no sugar. And if there's any scent in it, there's not much. And I also ordered, this is called Conditioning Shave Cream. You know, shave your legs, shave your underarms, whatever it is that you shave in your life, okay? Anything, you can use this stuff on. You can also use it as a hair conditioner. I have used this before, I had never used this scent. But I did open it up and smell it when I got it because of course I did. Sweet Vanilla and Pineapple Sorbet. That is sweet fantasy and it smells so good. It smells like a flipping dessert. Anyway, love it. And this was the original name of it before the company changed the name. Gucci. That's right. You ever heard of that stuff? It is a wonderful shave cream and hair conditioner. Okay. But I will have her link down below. All right. What else is going on? I did go to a festival last weekend. It was fun. I managed to not get sunburned. Bonus. Uh, we ended up not eating there. It was so busy. There were just so many people and the lines were long. So we ended up going elsewhere to eat, which was perfectly fine. We had fun. Uh, and I might go to a festival later today. I'm off work today. That's right. I took several days off. I took off May the 5th and the 6th because my anniversary is May 5th. That's right. Cinco de Mayo. We were going to go to our favorite Mexican place on Cinco de Mayo and have tacos or something. But uh, <laughs> they were slam packed. I mean, good for them. They're a small business. It's a family run business. I'm happy that they were super busy. We went, we, we drove up there and uh, they had horses out in the parking lot, you know, little things set up for ki little kids to get on and have their pictures made on, on the horses. And um, then they also had dancers in from the Greenville International Dance Institute or something out there doing traditional Mexican dances. We, as we were walking up, a couple of them were doing some of the dances and it was beautiful to watch. The music was very loud. Hubby was having a bad head day. He just could not deal with the, with the volume there. Not only that, we would have had to wait probably 45 minutes to an hour to get in there and eat. So we decided to just go someplace else, which is fine. But yeah, I was like, oh, I wanted Mexican so bad. I wanted a margarita, quite honestly. Yeah, they had house margaritas for like three bucks. And I was like, hmm. But no margarita. We went to an uh, Italian Greek place on the square instead. It was yummy. We had a good evening because that's what we do. We hang out. I basically took the time off for our anniversary so we could hang out together. Because most of the time I'm working. And we don't have a lot of time to just hang out and chill. So we did that. And I also decided not to work this weekend either. So... I might go to another festival today. Might not. We'll just have to see. The weather is warm. It, it's, it's warm and sunny outside today. Whereas yesterday they were like, oh no, we're going to have storms, blah, blah, blah. And then nothing happened. Go figure. Go figure. Anyway, on to the crochet. I know you've been looking at this going, what is this hat she's wearing? This is the easy bucket hat. Um, I did not use millinery wire in it. Actually, I think I might wear it like this for now because there's no sun in here. I may, basically made it to wear out to festivals to keep the sun off my face. Uh, this is a pattern by Crystal Bagaday from about a year ago. I had this yarn, the Rewind Tape yarn, that I had received in some kind of a mystery box or mystery bag or something, or maybe it was a Santa sack, who knows, from Lion Brand. And I never knew what to do with it. I was like, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make. I mean, you can make garments with it and stuff. This is, uh, let's see, 100 gram ball is 200 meters. It's a bulky five and it acts like a bulky five, but it's, a, it's an interesting composition. And 70% polyester, 30% viscose, machine wash, lay flat to dry. Okay. Out of a ball of it, I had this much left, out of a skein of it. This is what I have left. 
let me show you what this looks like because it is such an interesting yarn if you've never used it. I had never used it. It looks like tape. It's very, very soft. And I, th I was wondering, how am I going to work with this? Is this going to be hard to work with? No. This says to use a six and a half millimeter hook um, per Crystal's pattern because she used this very yarn but just in a different color. She said use a six millimeter hook so that's what I used for the hat. But in general you'd use a six and a half. Either one would be just fine. It does not split because this is the construction of it. That's solid, you know. And it was an absolute breeze to crochet. Tape yarn. Who knew? The only problem I had was there was one portion of this where it was kind of knotted together and tied together. You know how that happens sometimes in a skein of yarn? Only it wasn't tied very well. And if you pull super hard on this, it will start to separate the fibers and break. So I had to tie it back together, you know, invisible join, all of that. And I put the knotted part on the inside. No big deal. Um, but yeah, very cool. By the way, this is the color Valerian. So, yeah, bulky five, but it's it's lightweight, it is squishy, and it has a very soft feel to it. So I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, I do still have two more skeins of it. I'm not going to make all hats. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with the rest. Whoever knows what I'm going to make with anything. The yarn has to tell me what it wants to be. Something else in my faux pile. Well, this is kind of a faux. You know, because it's a continuing, it's it's a year-long make-along. Uh, this is from Judy at Witch Piece Crafts from her rock, hashtag rock2022 AU. This, uh, I, she was using um, ABBA as an inspiration this month. And she had showed an album that was really all just browns and tans. And I went and looked because she talked about just ABBA in general and their... Uh, sort of introduction to a lot of the world through their Eurovision appearance years and years and years ago. And I decided to look at their Greatest Hits album, that album cover, and I took color inspiration from that. That's all I'm doing on these is color inspiration. And at the end, I'm going to piece together all of my squares and make a huge stained glass looking crazy blanket. And I'm really kind of loving it so far. Um, I actually used some variegated yarn in this one. And just it's all different just acrylics is all that it is bordered with black in um do 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 hello brain where'd you go the stuff from joann's big twist big twist value yes that's what most of these are this blue i think is from the heat wave yarn that i had left i had a little i had a ball left a little tiny ball of this blue and that matches perfectly with the blue that's on the album cover so there you go anyway done with that one also in my handy dandy little bag here i have some finished objects two of which you have seen the rest you have not this big floofy one i showed you i think last week or the week before maybe i didn't because i made this in the car while driving up to Greenville and while I was riding in the car I asked the hubby I said simple or floofy he's like what you know like he had no idea what I was doing he said floofy okay so by god this is floofy all right that is the construction of this hair bow it is uh singles joining on the uh the hair band itself and then half doubles, three in each single, and then two in each half double of these triples. That took a while, okay? So there's that one. Um, I think I had already made one of these, and these are all pretty much the same. These are out of that rebound yarn. The yarn itself is pretty stretchy. Just very basic construction on these, but they're super colorful and fun. I made three of those. Two of them I made yesterday. There's two more. Okay. And then with the white yesterday while I was watching TV, I decided to make more because hairbands are such an easy TV project. Okay. There's this one. 
And all this one is, this is actually the exact same construction as this, just a different yarn. It's even in the same uh, hook, okay? These are um, singles all the way around, and then three half doubles in each single, and then it gets all wibbly wobbly. That's what these are. But because of the yarn is a little bit different, it makes it a different look. And then I did this one, which is more simple and lacy. See this one here? This is again, singles all the way around the yarn band. And then I chained, how much did I chain? Six, looks like I chained six, maybe five. Chained five and then slip stitched and chained five and slip stitch and skipping one in between. And it's plenty stretchy enough because you're not having to stretch the yarn at all. You're just stretching the band because there are enough stitches on there to give it some movement. So that's why I like to do mine that way. Um, I was working on one at the dermatologist office uh, and they called me up and I'm like, you know, still had my yarn out and everything. And the receptionist is like, I want to order some of those from you. And I'm like, what? I usually just end up doing them for myself and for charity. Maybe I could sell a few, who knows? But that's actually all the crochet this week. I know that's pathetic, but this took me about a day, not a whole day. You know, I, I finished it one day I was crocheting and fell asleep and then crocheted a little more and then fell asleep and then woke up and did some laundry and crocheted a little more and fell asleep. So yeah, let me show you. Oh, we've got hat hair. I was pretty happy with the way this turned out, especially since I didn't use any millinery wire. And since I had such a hard time, I was gonna do the crab stitch around the edge like Crystal does. She said, if you have a hard time with the crab stitch, just slip stitch or just do single crochet again. I ended up doing a single crochet and then slip stitching around because I just couldn't figure out where to put my hands and do the hook thing. It just wasn't happening for me. So I will try that on another day. But right now, I'm going to open up that door I'm going to go in there and edit this video, take some pictures of my plants, maybe take a little video of the kitty, and uh, put it all together and hope that you have a very, very wonderful rest of your weekend or rest of your day. I don't care when you're watching this. If you're not subscribed, I would invite you to do so. And turn on notifications and then turn on YouTube notifications in general. Whoops. Because YouTube has a habit of not showing you when somebody puts out a video. Do not just for me, do it for anybody whose videos you wanna come and hang out and watch because YouTube goes, shh, don't tell anybody. Y'all, we want our videos to be seen, hmm? <laughs> Thank you again for coming by. I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye y'all. Hello, sweet boy. Oscar. Talk to mama. And now you're not going to talk? 
I hear you purring all the way from here. He's usually sitting here and meowing and saying sweet kitty words, and now he's not going to say anything, are you? you going to attack Mama. going to attack Mama. Yeah. going to attack Mama. Well, no sweet kitty meows today.